Well, good morning all. This is Patricia and I am traveling for history. Before I get to the meat and potatoes of today's topic, I wanted to share a new item to add to my November 2023 shows list, which is the list of accomplishments of my channel up until that point. I would have shared it in November, except that I was this close to it and uh, didn't want to reveal, but I can now. So what is that? Well, actually, before I tell you what it is, if you have earbuds or headphones on, you might want to take them out because I'm going to do a drum roll. I now have over 1,000 videos on my channel. And that's as shocking to me, perhaps even more so than to you. I did all that work, and I'm shocked that I have that many videos up on my, on my channel these days. So something for almost anyone out there, and uh, I would encourage you to see what I have. So that, that's, uh, I'm a little speechless over that, to be honest. All right, so let's talk about today's topic, and that is local Google Guides, a mouthful, certainly, and uh, something I'm just going to refer to as guides moving forward. This is a program that was started in 2015 by Google, and the purpose of it was to enrich their Google Maps. So the way it worked, and may still work, but uh, when a, once a person uploaded a photograph to uh, Maps, Google would send out an email saying, you know, you're already doing writing reviews, you're already, now you're adding photos. How about you become a local Google guide? It's free, yay. And you can help your community and others around the world to show them what's interesting about your location. I don't know about you, but I am a sucker for that kind of introduction. And I was, I was, uh, I was writing reviews. I uploaded my uh, first photo ever to a series of photos on a place called Crazy Ponies Saloon in uh, Bisbee, Arizona. That was back in, uh, I think I said in 2016, because I, I received an email recently from Google saying, hey, you've been with us for seven years now. What's interesting about the Crazy Ponies Saloon is I have no exterior photos at all. It was, it was so interesting inside, uh, rich with details. And oh, there you go, there's the bar. Um, what you may not know for Bisbee, Arizona anyway, is that all their music is, is played in bars where there are no covers and just a tip jar for the, for the players. And that's why my friend and I were there, but uh, that is a bona fide saloon. It was a mining town. So uh, the irony is that I'm still in Google Maps and that saloon is long gone. <laughs> so, but I put it on the map, literally. The business did not exist prior to, uh, on Google Maps prior to my adding it to it. So that's, that's heady stuff. So after adding that photo, I also got that email saying, hey, come on now, you want to do this? And frankly, I did, and I still do. So things I have uh, done, just to give you an idea, and my phone is playing a starring role in today's um, video. I have added all sorts of things, so I've contributed a lot. There, there are um, all sorts of ways to contribute to it, you can write reviews, as I said. You can add photographs, absolutely. Um, I rate things as well. So you know when they have the, those stars, one to five, uh, I do wish they had zero stars. The number of us who've written, if I could give zero stars, I would. Yeah, so zero stars would be a great addition to the stars, or lack thereof. So that's a separate thing from writing a re review. A review is uh, supposed to be over 200 characters. I've added videos, and uh, someone had asked how this ties into my channel, and that's a big one right there. When I filmed on a location, so as opposed to, uh, to filming from home and I'm offering a recommendation of something, the, uh, when I'm out and about filming, 
I add those videos. So whatever length of video, it doesn't matter if it's over 30 seconds because Google will automatically uh, just take the first 30 seconds of the video and uh, use that. Now, how does that benefit me? Well, on uh, Facebook and Instagram, they love Reels. Instagram used to allow you to upload a video up to 15 minutes in length, and most of mine fit perfectly in that, uh, in that um, number. But uh, that's not uh, the case any longer. It's Reels, 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 and some more Reels. So I use those as an introduction to whatever my actual video is. I always start with, if it's longer, if it's one of those 30-second uh, Reels, I always say that you can watch the whole YouTube video here and put my link right there. So that's a huge, huge help. For those videos that are shorter than, uh, that are 30 seconds or shorter, um, then uh, uh, Google Maps accepts the whole darn thing. Yay, win-win all the way around. So some places I've added to the map have actually been demolished. I'm really thrilled to know that there are at least exterior photographs of those places. And um, if you're local to Burlington, Vermont, you know that Burlington High School, the one on Institute Road, it has been demolished. So I was able to film inside of a building. So not only do I have the exterior photos and the videos that accompany those photos, but also the interiors, uh, the interior of that one building as well. And that building was the first to go, poof, gone. It was, it's history. Um, there's something called Q&A. So let's say you have posted a question under some place on the map. Uh, so Warner Brothers Studios, perhaps, in Los Angeles. Someone did post a question about uh, something. This, I, I, was, I was there back in 2018, 2019, a few years ago, and had been to Warner Brothers Studios. So I was able to answer those questions. There are points for everything on here. Uh, and they have another thing called answers. Um, it's interesting, these categories. And those are very specific. Those are yes, no, I don't know answers. Things like, is this place handicapped accessible? Something I know pretty well because I, I do actually uh, use a cane. You know, things like, um, is, is it within some other business or, uh, you know, another store? So like a, like a mall. I always think of that like a mall. And, um, or, you know, sometimes it's just, I don't know. And, and if you're curious, I have answered 3,673 of those kinds of yes, no, I don't know questions. Uh, it's, 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 uh, <laughs> it's really surprising. So for videos, I've added 422. Uh, that was a newer thing. And uh, although I have, well, I have over 1,000 videos, I just said. Uh, but, uh, but 422 is what I've added thus far. But the, uh, the, uh, the thing that's uh, killer is the photographs. The number of photographs to date are, well, the number is uh, 16,000. 282. I know my mind is blown about that. I don't know about yours. but um, And then I can also edit the map. I'm going to come back around to that in just a moment because I think that is the best thing ever. But I do want to show you, I do want to mention that Google rewards people for these things because you know they have these the badge system the levels one two and three don't have a badge attached but they they'll say they will encourage you oh come on level four has a badge and again i'm a sucker for that too i, I must be like a, a two-year-old in this well i'm not even middle aged this older body now and uh, so when you get to these different levels they have these um different rewards and uh, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I, uh, I did an unboxing on my YouTube channel about it. And uh, 
uh, lots of positive comments. Oh, that was so cool, which I agree. It is so cool. So I'll get an email every now and then. And the one I'm about to show you was in April when I received it because it takes about a month. So I'll get an email saying, hey, do you want, and then I have a short list of things from which to choose. Socks is usually on the list. I've never gotten the socks, but they're kind of cute. But I like to get the pins. And in this case, I have uh, this pin right here. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. Isn't that cute? So he has a, he has a, um, this around his neck, where is my hand? So he has around his neck a um, camera and in his hand, a cell phone. <laughs> and it's so appropriate. It is, it is kind of heavy. It's, uh, you can see it has this backing. Uh, you should see the, bo the uh, it wasn't in a box, the mailer it came in uh, was, was so, um, it was stuck in the mailer so hard that the back of the pin broke through the mailer. <laughs> but the, uh, what, they had a card with this too, and the card said, and I quote, thank you for updating information on Google Maps. Your contributions will help people access accurate information at a time when they need it most. Here's a little something to say thank you. And there, there it is. How about that? Now, the reason you see a pinhole in both of them is because these are actually on my bulletin board at home. They, uh, they bring me a lot of joy, to be perfectly honest. It's, it's, uh, it's, a lovely, it's a lovely piece. What's funny about this pin, too, is uh, the first one they sent me, they just sent me a pin. And um, the second time I was able to select one, and uh, I had two designs from which to choose, and I, I chose um, this one, so the same doggone pin. <laughs> We've got to pay more, more attention to these things. Yes, absolutely. Um, so that's pretty fun. Now, getting back to the edits. Oops. I've added all sorts of interesting things to the map. And uh, I'm going to show you some photos in just a moment. So as I said, the very first place I ever added was the Crazy Ponies Saloon. Ponies, by the way, kettle P-O-N-Y-Z, because I would never think of that. Um, the next place I added to the map was the receiving tomb. This is a, now in case you don't know what a receiving tomb is, it's a place where uh, bodies, so in their, in their respective caskets and coffins and what have you, would be placed over the winter because back then they didn't have the machines necessary to break into frozen ground. Um, so they'd be uh, put in these receiving vaults and, um, or receiving tombs and um, pretty neat. What's, and on a side note, when I am out and about filming, I, unless I actually know from what I'm there to film, because I, I know what city or town that's in, I don't know where I am. So when I'm filming a cemetery I've come upon, I'm lucky if I know the name. But I, I, I just don't know. So that receiving tomb, it, the address for that is Bellows Falls. The building above it is the Rockingham Meeting House. So it's the Rockingham Receiving Tomb. So uh, go figure. That was not on the map at all. It didn't exist. And uh, it's exciting that it's on the map and, and people can actually see it. Another place I, and I uh, added was... Um, Prospect Cemetery in East Middlebury, Vermont. Google Maps sent me to uh, the Prospect Cemetery in Virgins. I knew that wasn't the right one because of this glorious entrance. There are three entrances into it all, all in a row, and this is the only one with that beautiful ironwork at the top. I have had the uh, pleasure and privilege to see a few entrances like that, and it's stunning in person. Um, Pro tip, by the way, is uh, if you're going to add a place to Google Maps, 
be on site. You're welcome. Don't don't do the um, uh, don't make the mistakes I have, where I've gone home and then you want to upload my pictures and realize, oh dang, it's not actually on the map, uh, and then have to trace it back. Um, it's uh, a photo I did not send that I had meant to send was of the Union Church in New Haven Mills, Vermont. I had plugged in, I had plugged it into Google Maps, and Google Maps took me to not the Union Church, took me to a vacant lot. And I don't even think that vacant lot would have been large enough to accommodate said church. I had found it by accident in another way. So I, I plugged in the street and then I found it that way. But, um, but uh, anyway, I didn't add it at the time given the constraints of sun setting and stuff like that. But, uh, but really, pro tip, if you can add it in the moment, that's fantastic. When you do add something to the map, a, a building to the map, you'll get a list of, of, of um, what it is. Cemetery is not obvious on the list, for instance. You have to really kind of dig for it. Um, but it's there. You'll find it. I mean, if I could find it, you can find it too. Um, another place I tried to add to the map is the Honeymoon Cabin in South Hero, Vermont. It's a wonderful little building. It was um, advertised by a woman, a woman who owned these honeymoon cabins. And uh, this is the only one, this is the only one left surviving, as I recall. It's on the same grounds as the Old White Meeting Church. And although I tried to add it to Google Maps, it didn't recognize it. So good luck finding it. But it's on the Route 2, directly on Route 2 in South Hero, uh, Vermont, um, and open seasonally. Another place I added is the Guilford Center Meeting House. Now the photo you're going to see, you'll, you'll see it's just that upper portion. It's given how tall it is. When I filmed it, I was actually diagonally across the street to show you the entire building because it's so big and it's on a postage stamp size property. Um, but um, it wasn't on the map. It's there now. And the beauty of that is, is of course, that this building is on the National Register of Historic Places. Um, it should be available so someone can go and drive to it as I did and see it and experience it in person. I do tend to add a variety of cemeteries to this map. And the, so this next one is the uh, East Moncton Morgan Cemetery. And I'll tell you an unfortunate story about this because this is what happens when I'm not paying attention. And, and I'm still trying to wrap my head around this. I used Google Maps to get there. When I tried to upload my photos and video to it, it didn't know it existed. I, I, I don't understand the disconnect between those two things, but hey, there we go. So, so I was there and punching in uh, East Moncton Cemetery. And it came up with, with uh, are you trying to add this? I saw East Moncton and the letter C, and I, I, I punched that, but it, it was the East Moncton Church. Same road, same side of the road. Uh, they're not together, though. The cemetery is not part of the church. It's not a denominational cemetery. So I had to add it. So it's also, it was formerly known as the uh, Morgan Cemetery. But I didn't want to say Morgan Cemetery because that certainly is not on the maps at all. No directions to it. But it's also listed as uh, on the Vermont Old Cemetery Association website. Uh, they have it listed as East Moncton hyphen Morgan Cemetery. And I'm sure that's the way you're going to find it on Google Maps because that's how I entered it. So if you're going to be adding places to the map, pay better attention to, than I, because otherwise you're going to create a lot more work for yourself if you really want to add something to the map. And the most recent place I added is the Mead Moncton Cemetery in Heinsberg, Vermont. 
you will never see that cemetery when there are leaves on the tree. Never, ever. I know, because I saw this once, I don't know, maybe in 2022, and um, didn't stop because I was heading someplace. And then um, just, just, uh, just in November, I happened to see it. I was driving to the East Mountain Cemetery. <laughs> And out of the corner of my eye, because apparently I have some sort of radar about this, I saw this out of the corner, what I thought was headstones, and they were. Um, it gets its name from Mead Farm, which is nearby, and uh, it's on the way to Moncton. But it is, it is in Hinesburg, and for all intents and purposes, it's an abandoned cemetery, which is a shame, but it is now on the map. I need to drive that route to make sure it's, the pin is actually in the right place. And then I can adjust it from there. Google, these, we, you know, local Google Guides add a lot to uh, the map. Uh, editing the map itself to, to add places in is uh, incredibly meaningful. And um, and important. Um, I can also change business hours. I'm pretty sure actually anybody can do that, uh, but I know as a, as a guide I can do that. And I remember changing, and they don't always accept it, sometimes you have to go back and do it again. Um, I do want to say that there was a local cafe, the cafe is still in business, I just don't want to say the name. Um, I changed the hours. This is back on uh, June 29, 2018, and it's fun on Google in, these, in the edit section that I can see that once it was accepted and to date, that particular edit on the hours has garnered 1,729,100 views on the change of hours for a local cafe. Heady stuff, no doubt. And I've also added, uh, I've also corrected uh, the map to say that a business has closed permanently. And I've done that for at least two businesses. Now they have these interesting levels with local Google Guides. They have these levels of um, um, photographer, director, um, reviewer, um, you know, a new contributor. They do everything they can to make you want to participate, which I like. And um, so, for instance, for uh, I'm not quite a novice trailblazer yet. <gasps> Jeez, I've got to work harder at that. So there are three pieces to that, for instance. Um, Adding the first photo of 10 places. I have 112 photos, so that box is checked. Write the re first review of 10 places. I'm halfway there at 5 out of 10. And uh, adding 10 approved places. I have added 6 approved places. So um, that's pretty fun. Um, and again, I am a sucker for all that kind of stuff. One thing. I want you to know that's really important is that if you're thinking about doing this, I want you to know that the very first thing that Google will tell you is that they will never, ever, ever, ever pay you for, the, for what you provide. And in fact, when you, when you go to sign up to become a local Google guy, you actually have to, have to agree to terms and conditions that you understand that they will never, ever, 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 did I say ever, ever, uh, pay you. But they also insist that you, you can never make money off of this. It, I, it's, it's two sides of the same coin, or the same side of one coin. Uh, I find that fascinating. Uh, so when I receive these offers for these free pins and whatnot, free things, sure, I'll take a freebie. Do you know, though, they sent me an email once saying, you know, here's a gift for you, but you'll have to pay for it. It was a reduced price. I found that, um, oh, 
audacious. Mm, no. Brazen? Mm, yeah. Galling. I found it galling. They are making money off of everything that we upload, all that data we give them that they use and make money on, that we provide and we don't make money on. There are forums on this online I just discovered this past week uh, talking about it. And, and Google moderators chime in saying, no, 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 we'll, we'll never pay you. Never, never ever. Um, but Google Maps is far better with our contributions than not. So, uh, so be mindful of that. If that's important to you uh, to get paid, you will not get paid. There is no pay involved. But you get, as I said, these, these nifty um, gifts, like these pins or socks, if you like. I don't remember what else is on the list. Uh, those are the only two things I can remember. Um, if you're curious, by the way, I am a level nine Google guide, and there are 10 levels. They do add levels periodically. I hope they add more because I like to rise to a new challenge. And uh, I think it's pretty fun. Now, in case you are wondering overall about uh, the number of views I've had of my um, photographs. Now, understand I do have this 16,000 and change number I have uploaded. Um, and since I updated, um, uploaded photographs, I gained another 158,300 views of them. Back in April 2023, I had received a notice that, I, that my photos had uh, garnered, had garnered uh, 12 million views. But as you can see here, 19,677,615 views. And I remember early on, I would get these emails from uh, Google um, saying, well, the photo you uploaded, and mind you, this started before I had my channel. I had uploaded a photograph of, um, of the service service uh, center, the, so the service desks at Goss Dodge in South Burlington, Vermont, uh, when they were every, it was all empty. I was the only one in the area. And that had garnered 80,000 views pretty quickly. Um, I had uh, uploaded uh, um, photographs of Sears closing, that's at the University Mall, where it was in South Burlington, Vermont, what was closing. That garnered, I don't know, 50,000, 60,000 views. Um, when I uploaded a photograph of the light de lighting department at Home Depot, over 100,000 views. And I also uploaded photos of the movie aisle, you know, the, the DVD aisle at uh, Best Buy and a mind-blowing 100,000 plus views. It's a DVD aisle at Best Buy in Williston, Vermont. I'm a bit flabbergasted by that. Uh, but, you know, these 19, so when Google shows me the stuff now, it's, it's uh, you know, 20 million views. <laughs> 20 million views. Um, my, in November, uh, let me see. In November, I received an email about my contributions. Oops, wrong email. So each month they offer an update and um, places I've been. So in November, I was in one country, the U.S. I visited six cities, 17 places, and two of those were new. I traveled 185 miles over the course of eight hours over the entire month. And then they showed me the places I visited and all that good stuff. But then they also sent me my contributions. So this in November, my contributions had 1 million 707,061 new views. I am one person adding to Google Maps. And um, it's, it's, it's absolutely mind-blowing uh, to me. So 
It's just wild. And um, one other thing that I get to do is participate in these beta programs, which I love beta programs. So they have a new one that I'll talk about perhaps in the future. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, pretty wild, absolutely wild. So so I hope uh, if, you're, if you receive the email from Google saying, once you've added a photograph, hey, why don't you become a, a local Google guide? Show people your area, introduce them, and, um, and um, you know, show them around. This may be for you, too. It's definitely for me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just a lot of fun. All righty. Well, as I say at the end of all my YouTube shows, uh, videos, that uh, so much, I thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me today, learning something about local, becoming a local Google guide, and um, really appreciate your being here. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. And I hope you have the rest of, I hope the rest of your day is absolutely fabulous. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you soon. Bye now.